Yes, nothing on the screen, so you can completely concentrate on my words. We don't need to look anything, we're not little children, we don't need a storybook with pictures on each page. Don't you have your third eye? Can't you see? So you don't need little images to distract you from what I'm saying, this is very important. So, you know, don't even look at the screen. That's why I've recorded so many videos just in the dark at night and so on, so I can focus on what I'm saying. If you're listening and you're on this channel to try and you know, get information, or you know, have epiphanies, sudden realizations and so on, which I think many of you are here for that reason, well, pay attention, right? Obviously. Otherwise, well, it's your attention, it's your, you know, learning, so you want to pay attention. So you don't need anything on the screen, little pretty pictures moving to distract you. So listen carefully. You know, there's, there's a philosopher, I'm not sure who this is attributed to, but they said, all the world's a stage. People have said that in the past, right? All the world's a stage. I'm not even going to say, oh, it's all illusion and so on. I don't need to go there, do I? But this is what I want to focus on. All the world's a stage. Now, everybody who's gang-stalked by these organic portals, like spiritless humans, they're not eternal spirits. They belong to a, a, a 2D hive mind group soul that's corrupting. It's the organic portal apocalypse. The soul, you know, the, the spirited human endures. We'll get through their apocalypse if we're awake. If you're asleep, if you're inured, if you're tied to the system, well then you may be harvested in this matrix reset. What's happened is that the Smith virus, just like the movie The Matrix, Neo works in the end with the Matrix AI itself, or like the god of the Matrix. Right? To rid the Matrix of the Smith virus, of everybody becoming the same. He assimilates everyone. You can also bring in the idea of the Borg from Star Trek. It's how everybody's acting the same and afraid to step out of line and be different. That's these soulless organic portals. Now, because there's so many of them doing that, you've got many um, soul or spirited humans caught up in it. And they're the people who are really being harvested because you can't harvest a dead organic portal. <laughs> There's no spirit life force to harvest, you see. So when you're like, oh yeah, but everybody else is still going to work every day, Ben. Well, that's because they're all NPCs. You don't see it, do you? How you're being roped in. You're about to be harvested if you're that person who would give me, you know, stupid feedback like that. You see it? That you can't harvest a spiritless human because there's no spiritual life force to harvest. So the idea is that they're roping in as much souls as they can. It's like, I'm going to die, so I'll take you out with me. <laughs> That's what the corrupted, you know, surface virus is doing. It's, the, it's how, you know, they've become corrupted like Smith. You know, he says in the movie, I knew what I was supposed to do. Obviously, he was meant to, like, self-terminate or whatever, or, you know, go back to source or whatever he was meant to do. But he, he you know, became a cross-horizontal flow to the forward motion, which is essentially what these organic portals are. They're a cross-current to the forward flow of consciousness, concentric development. They're, they're always trying to keep you from spiraling up, and even in the esoteric Gnostic version of what an NPC is, it's a person who's not spiraling up. So you become, you know, uh, not an NPC or a player in the game when you start spiraling up. Now this is very, very pragmatic. Um, all the Kundalini teachers, if they're worth their merit, they should know, like I know, if you spin your hand on the top of your head clockwise, you start spiraling. But if you push your energy left or anti-clockwise, you start to spin down. I've talked about how negative souled humans have the same frequency as the organic portal, and that's one reason it's so hard to discern who is who. So you only really see, you know, the positive souled humans like me, we stand out like a crap load, right? 
because we're very obvious, because everybody else is at that same third dimensional clunky frequency and negative tones and uh, negative and so on. I won't say too much about the people, some people in the organic portal movement themselves holding this frequency, but they are there. I think you know the two channels I'll probably be referring to. <laughs> Actually, I made a video recently saying the difference between me and all other organic portal channels is that I'm the only positive vector. I'm the only one being positive about it, trying to find a solution. They're all just being negative and hating on the organic portals, which I get. That's the first step. You, you realize, you know, how, how, how you know, stupid, um, annoying, energy stealing, and energy vampirish and so on they are. And so you hate on them for it. Because it's a very, that's a reaction. That's a very obvious initial reaction. But the game is to move from reactionary creation to creation. Post-2012 is creation. Pre-2012 universe was the universe of reaction, of becoming. But now we've become to a point where dirigible, we're capable of being steered and guided by vision. Hence the apocalypse is for the organic portals and all those who are visionless. So it can be sold humans who will be dragged into the harvest because they didn't um, encourage their own vision, you see. So anyway, this, this video really is about, you know, the title is, you know, All the World's a Stage Gang Stalking. Now, there's some people out there who think organic portals are made by the Illuminati because they don't get the idea that they're not just clones, that it goes way deeper and that's everything I talk about on my channel, like dimensionally, you know, virus, technologically, um, analogied. I do all these analogies to make you understand this in a broader sense. They're not just clones coming out of some factory <laughs> that made by the Illuminati. That's not what's going on. So you're going to have a lot of impure, dumbass videos come in the organic portal movement now. I said recently you should probably stick with the original channels. Well, you can find it all out for yourself and confuse yourself. Confuse your own landscape, that's up to you. I'm keeping it pure. And I'm keeping it broad and in-depth and not ridiculous. It's ridiculous to say that organic portals are a creation of Illuminati. It's just, you know, just don't even look at that video. Don't give it even a view and dislike those videos to drop them down the bottom of the search term under organic portals so they don't get in the way and confuse the new aspirants, the new people entering wanting to realize what's going on. So, you know, this matrix is resetting and harvesting because it's, you know, it's become like a virus. Initially, organic portals were a stabilization functionality of the human morphogenetic species field. And organic portals are in any species field. I was the first one to say this. So dogs, cats, birds, whatever. Any species has a backdrop people or organic portal or backdrop animal bodies conglomerate. It's a stabilization functionality for the morphogenetic field of any given species. Now, that's where it originally was. That's why they exist. Um, now it's corrupted, just like you have the Smith virus in the movie The Matrix taking over the whole matrix. That's what is essentially happening. Then the matrix itself cannot progress. So it needs actually people like me. And that's why in the end it works with Neo or new. Neo means new. Search it, Google it. Neo actually means new. So when I'm coming up with all these new ideas and I'm, I'm bringing in all this new stuff, because you know, I'm um, original and uh, novel, then, you know, you've got to realize that uh, I'm acting as a Neo. I'm not saying I am the only chosen one or something like this. Don't be ridiculous, because that's not how it happens. Uh, I may or may not be the metaphysical baton holder or like an ultimate concrescence in my generation. That's a different story. And they're kind of connected, those concepts. But the idea is that the morphogenetic field of our species um, has been corrupted and it's become like a virus nature and the hive mind's in a corrupted state it's no longer just doing its normal stabilization function okay so this is the problem the matrix is going to reset and that's why there's all this chaos in the world as well it's not just created from economic troubles this is all 
you know, this is all a planned thing, right? So what I want to say is the amount of pain that you're all about to endure is exactly tied to how much you are dependent on the system. That's why I do food plant teaching videos, because when things start to get more difficult in about 10 years from now, at least I, you know, I can get my nutrition to feed this body, right, to keep myself alive, because I know I can even eat grass to mix it with lemon, so at least then I can get minerals and my body can stay alive, at worst, right, so that's why I do the food plant teaching series. So my point is that, you know, you know <laughs> wake up point is... It's already been. We've already been through the tribulation where the high... And this is not my decision. This is a decision of the higher planetary mind. And we are all one. We are all its children. It knows where you are by your blood energy signature. You're within the womb or the atmosphere of Earth. It knows where you are at every second, every femtopicosecond. It knows where you are by your blood energy signature. There's no fooling the matrix or something. <laughs> So, um, this video is called, though, you know, All the World's a Stage, and people have come along and said that before. Um, now, that's exactly what gang stalking is, but here's, here's how I wanted to fix this, because what do I mean? Well, there's some people out there who are like, again, on this, you know, the, the sort of lower unrealized unepiphany viewpoint that the Illuminati is con in control of the universe. No, nobody's in control. The universe is in control. <laughs> They've just been given a role. Now you've got your myopic. You need to see further upstream. It cannot stay like this forever. This is a stage in the game, right? Or an event <laughs> that Illuminati have such massive control. Right? That's a stage. It will be passed. Even corporations will be banned because they're acting like um, soulless entities and yet viewed like sold humans in the eyes of the law. You know, they have this thing where they're viewed as persons in the eyes of the law. They shouldn't be. Corporations should be what, seen as they are. They're not a human. They don't have rights. <laughs> so stuff like that is going to change in the next 50 years. And corporations will be banned, and we're going to move into a type of giant communist socialist um, cooperative manner where things are equally shared on an equal basis so that, you know, the CEO doesn't get 10,000 times more multiple payment than you. You know what I mean? So that's where the world is going to move, and that's very obvious, right? I don't need to prove anything because that's very obvious. That's where we're going. Capitalism, you know, there's some good things about it, but it's obvious that it creates, you know, a situation where the family of dark can thrive. Because the family of dark love to use their will over another. So if you're rich, you're stinking rich, you can easily use your will over another. You see, you can do that all day because you're rich. So this system isn't going to last. Now, this is what I want to correct, that people think for some reason that, you know, when I say all the world's a stage and it's known in gang stalking that, um, you know, they want to create the world into a stage. We had the Boston bombings where you had the guy with the blown off leg in the wheelchair. I think I've still got that on the members notes page, the conspiracy page um, in the back page of consciouszine.net. I had a picture of Guess who? Steven Spielberg was the man wheeling this guy in a wheelchair with his legs blown off. Remember this picture? I, I remember it because I put it in my website. Boston bombings, whatever year that took place. I can't remember what year. Sometime in the last decade. It's now 2019. It's like 2014 or something like that. And, you know, it was called the Boston bombings. And... This guy had his legs blown off, but there was no blood dripping, no blood. And Steven Spielberg was the person pushing him in the chair. Steven Spielberg. Well, who is he? He's the director of Jurassic Park movies, Hollywood movies. Everybody knows that Hollywood is in on the conspiracy, so to speak. They're part of it. 
the, the global conspirators, you know, the elites, all that business. So, yes, they want to create the world into a stage, you know, and all that, that event, things like the Boston bombings and that, that's called a reaction solution implementation, where they create the, uh, the problem so that they can create the solution. So they put you all in fear. Oh, now we have to implement new rules. Oopsie. So this can't happen again. We have to control you even more. And that's what they do. So that's how they want the whole world to be a stage. Right? In a larger fashion, yes, all the world's a stage because it's a matrix. Yeah. <laughs> so, but some people seem to think that, you know, um, that's where it ends. But this is what I wanted to fix. It's not that uh, all the world's a stage just because the Illuminati. It's because there are these demons of the Matrix and there are dimensions and they interact with this third dimension. And they have control over third dimensional organic portal humans who are not conscious of themselves in a higher fashion or higher level or above the fourth dimension or actually above the third dimension or above and outside the ego. They're not conscious in that fashion. They have no light body instilled by Earth. That's why they're not dirigible. That's why they're all now walking themselves into self-destruction. Over half of the world's population seems to be walking themselves into self-destruction. This is the Matrix Reset. Now, if you're caught up in this, you are the harvested. So, really what I wanted to say, you know, this was all, you know, connecting, but when I labeled this video all the world's a stage, I just wanted to say that's because there are other dimensional beings who interact and can basically control organic portal bodies like pawns on a chessboard. Okay, so I wanted to expand the realization of the quote, all the world's a stage, and then I've got gang stalking in the title of this video for that reason, to connect the ideas. All the world's a stage, yes, because of the gang stalking, and that's what gang stalking is. They stage everything, they try to set you up. Organic portals are the trap mechanism. Like when you trap a bear or something in a bear trap, the organic portal is the, the trap. You know, when the trap closes around the bear's foot, well, that's what's happening now. This matrix reset is like a giant trap and the organic portals are there to make you think that everything's okay up until the last minute, until you're, you're not able to escape at all. There's no escape at all. Watch how this system is progressing. The, the rise of private armies are here. The, the military is um, now on the street like police. The latest vote in Uruguay, for instance, here where I am, is exactly that, to put military on the street like police. Alex Jones said that like 10 years ago. Oh, I'm not a massive fan of him, but he's correct to call the, pl the, the whole thing Info Wars because it's a war of information because they're the family of dark. They like to obfuscate, change information, so that they can stage the world to their desire. So be careful, because you might be the harvested. And so the point of this video was to connect the idea of gang stalking to that quote, all the world's a stage. Because that's what gang stalking is doing. And, you know, I have, I, I have a lot of videos on gang stalking and I find it very difficult to capture then some people have told me recently, yeah, these demons, they don't allow you to capture them on video. And you're pretty much correct. It's very difficult to capture the gang stalking. And that's why I'm going to, I've dedicated and I'm going to keep dedicating my time to it because I find it interesting and challenging. That's why I studied information technology at university in my degree because it's challenging. That's why I didn't choose a major of finance or something, you know, easy. Because everybody was doing it. In my information technology majors, there was two people in the exam, in my web development exam, and I looked on the row next to me, and there was two whole rows of people doing finance as their major. <laughs> so, I don't know, I'm just saying, don't go with the mass. They're the organic portals. The organic portal conglomerate is the mass of people. Yes, most people are organic portals. Most. It's over 50%. I'm certain of that. The original theories say one in three and one in four, but I think that's incorrect. And also because they have a swallowing up function that uh, and the whole entire system is rigged 
to D Soul. You know, it's not rigged to make you do Magnus Opus great work and, and get vision and be a visionary artist and all this. <laughs> There's no support for this. Only on the internet now, because we've all, you know, all the souls have gotten together to realize to do that. But, you know, originally this system is a, a very desouling system. It's, you know, very robotic like and came out of, you know, an industrial age, remember? We've just come through the industrial era. <laughs> so that's why everything's so robotic and it's desouling. And that resonance of the 50s, and that's why I made a video recently. Um, OK Boomer and saying about the baby boomers there's a lot more organic portals in the baby boomer movement because of the frequency is different and if you understand how we're traveling into higher strata as we go forward anyway I don't want to keep uh, delineating and going off on tangents I wanted to stick to the idea that all the world's a stage and that the gang stalking is not just um, Illuminati people they're just pawns for these, uh, we call them the ground troops, you know, the physical people bodies, many of them are very unconscious people, and they're used as pawns, that's how the world is a stage, by these higher dimensional entities, so obviously then your next job would be to get vision of these inner dimensions, you would do a lot of meditating and take a lot of psychedelics, <laughs> you would, you know, spend more of your day trying to figure this out, um, rather than the opposite, which is the desouling path. Oh, I'm just going to go to work, get money, take care of my physical body, and take care of my uh, neurotic nuclear family model, or my family, my personal ego f boundary family. The ego seeks to separate, and is a separate, and notice that everybody with ego thinks they're separate, and they're not one. It's very obvious we're literally, metaphorically, and so on, one. <laughs> Everything is touching everything, so you're, that's, uh, that's all I need to even say. <laughs> so everything's one, obviously. So anyone who says we are not one, they're talking from an ego. And, you know, the ego seeks to separate and is a separate entity because it is a third dimensional construct. And the third dimension is a zonal boundaries, zonal reality. That's why I called the, the family model, you know, the, the nuclear family. You have a mum and dad and two kids. That's a, a neurotic nuclear family model. Not in itself, but the way that it is acted out in the world. Because you go to work, you get energy from the environment of the earth, the physical bolos or body of the earth, the environment. You cut down a tree to burn the log on your fire to stay alive. You know That's a very primitive example. But you go to work every day extracting from the environment into your little family model and it's got a boundary of you your wife and your children that's why it's neurotic because we're a larger family called humans it's not even that you're you know there's another boundary oh i'm my nationality i'm australian or i'm american or whatever that's another boundary but in a larger sense, we're all humans. You're not Australian. You're not from Afghanistan. You're from human. <laughs> you're from humanity. Do you get it? So anyway, that's why I call it neurotic nuclear family model. So it's funny that, you know, organic portals are also inserted into your family. All the indigos, you know, in the id, higher self go, the steward of the light body, which is instilled by Earth and is a cosmic multidimensional thing. You know, that is why, you know, um, sorry, I lost, I lost what I was saying. I got distracted out here. Um, oh, I'm getting a download. That's what's happening. <laughs> sorry, guys, I'm getting a vision like wild. I can't like concentrate, I can't speak properly when this happens. Oh, okay, sorry, I, I just totally lost track of what I was even uh, talking. I'm getting a, a download, I can, I can hear the frequency in my brain. Alright, so look, anyway, this lecture was, you know, gang stalking is how all the worlds are staged. And, you know, the id, all the indigo, oh, that's what I was saying, all the indigos know that, you know, there's going to be an organic portal in the family, in the midst of the family somewhere, 
because the action is to control you, to keep you asleep and to keep you part of the conglomerate. And this is for the reason of harvesting you. Because like I said, you cannot harvest spiritual energy from an organic portal, spiritless human. Obviously. <laughs> so what the Matrix has going on here, or what this organic portal virus has going on here is, you know, uh, like pretending it's a soul, being your brother, bringing your mother, so on and so forth, to lure you in. It's like a lure when you go lure fishing. It's to make you think that everything is alright. You don't need to worry about some matrix reset. What's this crazy Benjamin talking about? Everything seems okay to me. <laughs> any way you look, it's not okay. Any economic data, any now, whether it be negative rates, the skyrocketing debt, any way you look now, nothing is okay. So you're being ignorant. That's called ignoring. <laughs> so I can call you ignorant. Right? Without being arrogant, I'm being accurate, not arrogant, accurate. Because you're ignoring, that means you're ignorant. So look, they want you ignorant and to keep you asleep and unconscious like that. And that's why they're inserted in the family. There will be an organic portal in your family. And you know this is to keep you asleep, to harvest more uh, spiritual energy for the matrix. And you need to break away. That's why recently I made a video called Organic Portals, the most important spiritual theme. And OPs reveal the fake woke. Those who are like, oh yeah, it's all good, it's, everything's okay. As the world is stepping deeper and deeper into apocalyptic disaster. So that's how all the worlds are staged. This is gang stalking. Organic Portals are gang stalking itself. That's what they do. They're the ones who gaslight you immediately upon meeting you. Or even if they're your brother or sister, they're gaslighting you. Figure out what gaslighting is. They're trying to make you think that you're insane. So anyway, um, this is how all the worlds are staged. And organic portals are gang stalking. <laughs>